All right, I'm back. And if this works correctly, it will automatically update my podcast that I'm currently recording by myself on the set to the Entertainment Guy channel. So I debated about whether to put it on the Entertainment Guy channel or the Hockey channel, and I thought, you know what? On the podcast, I can sometimes move around from one topic to another. So why not put it on the Entertainment Guy? So it's going on the Entertainment Guy. Surprise, surprise. So this should automatically upload. So what I'm doing currently, I am uh, erasing my boards. The boards I've been using for all the hockey stuff throughout the season. Uh, it is it is an odd time of year when I actually take the tape off the boards and I start erasing them and working on, you know, getting set for the playoffs. So I'm moving my phone around too. Uh, but yeah, so this time of the year, uh, my work... work uh, Definitely gets a little bit easier. The funny thing is, there's that definition again, work. I And I've talked about this before, but I think in, in the current economy with as it is and everything, uh, work has changed. I think we used to always define work as kind of like, you know, you're, you're breaking a sweat and you're, you're picking up a lot of heavy stuff and see this crap over here, move that crap over there and then take that crap over there, move it back over here. And that's work, right? Or, you know, retail dealing with the public and trying not to snap and lose your mind or doing a menial task over and over and over for hours and hours and days on end. Now, I do that. Now, it's different. So, as it's currently constituted or set up or however you want to phrase it, the the work that I do is daily. I do videos 365 days a year, which I have finally over the last year realized, you know, I should take a day off here and there, but I make sure videos post. And I always run into people, even at the Abbotsford game the other night, uh, ran into a guy who said that, you know, he's been going through a tough time personally and that my daily videos help. And I understand that. Uh, Having gone through a lot of personal stuff myself, uh, it's been nine years now since all that personal stuff went down. And so, yeah, it, it definitely... It makes a difference when you can come home from work and everything seems out of sorts. Everything seems completely wrong. But you've got something you can rely on where you know that there's something that you can rely on daily. And it can be a TV show. It can be a... Heck, it can be a song. You come home and you listen to the same music every day. It just some sense of normalcy. And so nine years ago when I was dealing with a lot of my own personal demons and going through some really hard times... Um, it, it helped. It actually helped. Hey, Santa Bun. No, you don't need to run away. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> rabbit gets kind of nervous. Like, what's he going to do? What's he doing? Because when the TV's off, the rabbits are used to me kind of taking them out of here. The sound of hockey is something that they've come to understand means uh, Dad's not taking them off the set. They can just be in here. But outside of that, no. Uh, also, my understanding that my wife took a video today of our animals. Uh, the only three that weren't in there were Cinnabon, Licorice, and Bear, and that would be because they're usually in here. Although Bear's not in here currently, she's she's starting to get some old lady behaviors to her where she kind of wants to stay in bed all day. Then I come in here, I'm on the set. She'll come over and start bothering me. She starts meowing at me, and I'm like, what do you need? I check. She's got food. She's got water. Everything's there. Everything's where you want it to be. And the only thing that's left is she wants me to go to bed. She figures that, hey, it's bedtime. You're home. So I'm going to go to sleep. So you're going to come along. It's bedtime. And I'm not that old yet. It can't be bedtime all day. That's not a thing. But coming back to the work topic. And it's, it is something that I've seen, like there were comments I've, I saw last weekend, as I grab other boards here, Ugh. last weekend there were 16 games in the NHL on Saturday, on Sunday there were two, I don't know why I'm holding up two fingers like you can see it, but I'm, I'm so used to doing a video, right? But I see comments about, you know, thanks for all your work, thanks for all your hard work, and, you know, we appreciate it. And there will always be that person that steps in and goes, well, it's not real work. Or, well, he only works a part-time hours. This really isn't, you know, a real job. Okay, so on Saturday, I got up at, you know, my usual time, right around 8 a.m. 
Uh, hockey started at 9.30 in the morning. It ran until about 10.30 at night. Um, during the day, I did the two recaps of the early matinee games, and then I did the longer recap at the end of it. Um, I also had to do the power rankings. By the time everything was done, it was about 12.30 at night. So whether people do or don't see it as work, that's about a 15-hour day. So we don't see it as work, but it's 15-hour day, vast majority of which I'm, I'm not getting paid. The, the one thing that gets me with the schedule is that the NHL puts this out there as, you know, it's a 16-game day, and all I think to myself is, all right, so I'm going to watch all these games. My income's actually going to drop that day because I don't have the time to do the videos. I can't get a bunch of stuff going on. Plus, there's not a lot of news at this time of the year either because the trade deadline's done. So I'm, I'm kind of just watching hockey and watching as YouTube will alert me. <laughs> YouTube's great. You know, I, I, I get a kick out of because they'll say, well, you know, uh, the the mental health of our, of our uh, influencers is really important. So we're going to we're going to make sure that uh, we let them know that they can take a break and it's okay to take a break. Yeah, um you'll get an alert pretty darn quick that your numbers are down. You'll get alerts that your most recent video didn't do very well and they don't seem to care about why it didn't do well. Even if I'm talking to people from YouTube where I'm like, "Well, yeah, that's just this how it is. This time of year things are slower. It's okay." And the answer will kind of be yeah, but if you could do more, more what? You want me to create players or create teams or create some kind of drama or get into the speculation that has now run rampant? Sports has become really a lot of speculation. Um, this year it felt like it was even more than usual. And I know it's not just hockey either. I see it when it comes to baseball and football. I do keep track of some of the things going on in other sports. Although I've gone so far down the rabbit hole into the NHL at this point that it it, it is tough for me to track everything going on with other teams. Um, I, I do want to change that. I do want to balance it out a little bit. Um, I, I, and that's part of the reason why I'm recording this right now. Because I, I feel like I need to balance things out a little bit. Do more podcasts. Uh, do more stuff for the Entertainment Guy channel. Thus these podcasts going up to the Entertainment Guy channel. And just giving more of the behind-the-scenes kind of feel. Um, it, it, the other thing that I find funny, too, is that um, as... as I'm not going to use influencer. As a social media personality... There, that works. That works. Because I don't consider myself really an influencer, other than where you want to buy your jerseys. If you're looking for a place to buy your hockey jerseys, I know. And if I send you someplace, the guy's not going to rip you off. Um it's it's that that's a whole other topic though for another time uh but yeah so it, the as as somebody who's in that social media sphere and everything it, it the whole thing is is bizarre the expectations and all that but um for me the privacy is important uh but so is the work one thing that i i don't think for people who haven't worked from home um it is it is different working from home so let's say the whole idea is, all right, say people, what do, what do people picture that I do when I'm not making videos, when I'm not, you know, doing what I'm doing right now, which is cleaning up the boards from the regular season and, you know, and then I get to put a bunch of boards away so I have more room in here. Um, so what do I do during the off season? Well, I, I basically still make videos because when you're at home and you work from home, if if you're sitting on your backside watching TV, the back of your mind you're thinking... You know, you could be working right now. There's there's so many things. And for me, uh, my brain kind of never stops. There's never a time during the day that my brain shuts off and goes, okay, I'm cool. No, I'm good. I'm out of here. Um, that's part of the reason why I used to like playing video games so much. But I, I haven't played a video game in such a long time now. And I, I don't really have a whole lot of interest in it. Um, I realize now that when I used to play video games all the time, it was because I was so bloody tired. I was always so tired. It was just, um, and, and that was when I had the old job. But the problem with that was that I had to work at 4.20 in the morning. Yeah, I know, everybody get your giggles in. Um, and then there were times, too, where I worked at 5.50 in the morning. But either way, I would stay up until 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. Um, and, and so I would get maybe five hours of sleep. 
and I drag myself out of bed and then get to work. And there were times where at work I would kind of feel like I was falling asleep on my feet. But I kind of wore that as a badge of honor. Like there was a part of me that said, hey, you're working really hard. This is this is totally worth it, dude, because, you know, you're you're doing all this and you're doing it for your family and you're you know, you're, you're out making money, and, uh, huh, the, the reality was, the reality was that I was not, I wasn't taking care of myself, and yes, I was at work, yes, I was existing, yes, I could socialize with people, but I was a zombie most of the time, and I wasn't very pleasant either, so, that was something that stayed that way, really, until, about five years ago, well, a little more than five years ago now, uh, when when I left my, my full-time job and went to a part-time job, which I didn't really need to do. The funny thing was, at the time I went to the part-time job, I probably just could have gone straight from the full-time job to doing YouTube as a full-time job, but I was scared. There was a part of me that said, I don't, I don't know that I can do this. I, I don't know that I can... I can make enough to, to make this work and you know I've I've got my new wife and, and kids and I I, I don't want to let them down. I don't want to let them down. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess this up. So yeah. Um it it is different the last five years. It is different when you're able to sleep. When you wake up and your body wakes you up and goes, Time to get up and you look at your clock and go, Man, I've only had five hours of sleep. I could get up now, but it's going to affect my videos. It's going to affect, um, especially if it's if I know it's a late night for hockey, that hockey's going to be on till like 10 o'clock at night. Well, if I'm already tired and I'm up at 6.30 in the morning, good luck. Good luck. Good luck with me being able to, to focus all day and, and get get a video done where I like it. Like, there have been videos, there have been days where... I don't feel like I did a good job and I start over. There was one video I did this morning. I did four takes on that. And because again, I do the one take thing, right? Same with the, the podcast. It's not like I edit a bunch of times and edit it all together. It's one take and it's posted, which on some, it is easier on one, in one way. And it's more difficult than another because I can't just take three different takes and then, you know, splice them together. Go, well, I like how I said this and this one. I don't like how I said this and this one. Part of it is I don't like hearing my voice back. I, I really don't. I'm not a fan of my voice. I know it's ironic, right? Um, since that's part of how, how I make my, my income now is, is the voice itself, which I know is very distinct because people will often recognize me in a crowd by my voice. That sounds like THG. Well, since I know the Hunger Games aren't in the board, THG probably means the hockey guy. I think that's, I think that's almost all of them. Which, again, is this work. Some people would say no. But the whole topic of what is work is also a whole other discussion for a whole other time. But, yeah, for me, the the, the, the day-to-day changes now that the regular season's done. I have to kind of pivot. Um, not like Ross yelled in Friends, but I have to pivot. Uh, there's only a maximum of four games a night. And then two weeks from now, that becomes two games a night. Two weeks after that, it becomes one game a night. And because the games are getting more important, the view counts go up. So my my work rate doesn't have to stay as high. And so then I have to adjust to it. It's like from October until April, I am insanely busy. I am so, there's so much going on. There's so much I need to keep track of because I've, I've committed to tracking everything of every team, which is part of the reason why with the second channel, I haven't been able to do as much as I'd like to. Because there's that six months where there's just mu- isn't much I can do. So again, that's part of the reason why with these podcasts they'll post to the Entertainment Guy channel. Um, I I do sense that there's a lot of potential with the second channel. I think the Entertainment Guy channel can perform much better than it has over the last couple of years, and I think it's just a matter of me being able to 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 figure out my time. I mean, there, there's only so much time I have. But, you know, when you've, when you've crossed a milestone, and, and I mean, I'm 50 years of age now, so that's, that's a milestone, and you realize you've got less days ahead of you than behind you, and you've got to kind of prioritize your time a little bit. Um, it, is, it is important to make sure you're prioritizing that time so that you don't, 
roll over when you're in your 60s and go, wow, I, I didn't do anything. So that's why, you know, holidays are important. Uh, it's something that I think about during the really busy days, like, okay, there's this amount of games on right now. This is just, it's exhausting trying to keep up with everything and make sure I've got everything in a chronological order and I don't accidentally put the wrong notes under the wrong games. But remember, in August, Vegas, Disneyland. August, Vegas, Disneyland. I will get that get that in my head to try to, you know, keep myself upbeat and, and awake, which is where the sleep comes in. Um, I, I don't feel like I have to... Um, point out, like I thought about doing a video today on like a day in the life. And I thought, I don't really need to do that. I, because people who think that I don't work, people who think this is just a part-time easy job, they're, they're not going to be swayed by me talking about my, my day. Um, people who already think I work hard, it's not going to make a difference there either. So um, there's other things I can do videos on. There's other topics that I can, can explore and, and have fun with. And that's my intention. Um, but with the playoffs coming up on Monday, it's it's this is going to be fun. Uh, sadly, there's no Flash episode today because I loaded up Netflix and I was like, I'm going to watch the Flash and I'm going to do a video. And oh, Flash isn't there's no new episode until April 28th. So that's two weeks before I get a new episode of Flash. I'll deal. I'll figure out a way to deal with that. But yeah, um, I do intend to do more of these. Uh, podcasts as you you kid kiddies call them uh it's just it, it's uh it's something that's entertaining and it's more of the stream of consciousness like i did on the channel way 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 back in the day like seven eight years ago and then people talk to me about how you, you can't do it like that you got to break these up and so i broke them up and every the rest of its history and as far as me recapping every game and previewing every game that didn't start out either um, that's why I get a kick out of people that say, well, he used to have more of a work ethic than he does now. No, I didn't. My old jobs, um, I still remember, uh, when I worked at the call center, they had what was called a voluntary time off. So you would come in and at any point during your shift, you could sign up for voluntary time off. Meaning if it's a slow day, you'd sign up and they would, they'd phone you and they'd say, Hey, so, um, it's slow. Do you want to go home? And my answer was, Yep. Sure. Uh, then I switched over to the meat packing plant, which people call a slaughterhouse. There was no murdering in the the job I came from before doing this. Um, that would be the poultry plant, and even then, I never worked on the kill floor. Just think about it. If, if you're asked, do you want to work in the kill floor or in the vis room? I'll work in the vis room. I don't know what goes on in the vis room, but it's not murder, so I'll work in the vis room. At any rate, uh, at the 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 other job they had OTG, which is option to go. It's the same as VTO, just different letters. And again, I would sign up. I would sign up every day. And and there were times where I was like, man, I don't know where, I don't know if I've got enough money to cover the rent. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then I'd hear, hey, do you want OTG? Yep. Well, now I'm really screwed because I just agreed to go home, but that means I won't be here. And it's something I can't do with my current job. I can't just stand there and say, so yeah, I'm going to review the early games because I decided I'm not staying up tonight to watch the late games. I've decided I'm only going to cover these teams for the next week because I don't feel like it. So I always get a kick out of it when people say, oh, his work ethic isn't what it was. What? No, that's just no. Any other job I've had, if it was like, do you want to go home? Yes. Yes, I would. And now, of course, because I work from home, even when I'm off, I'm still thinking of ideas for videos. I'm still, you know, processing in my mind what I'm going to do in the off season. I'm still going over in my mind, when do I want to start certain? I have so many ideas in my head right now. I know I have to temper them. I have to not post six or seven videos a day, which I could do right now, because then I'll run out of ideas, which has happened before. And so I want to make sure that I'm, I'm spacing these videos out. Uh, today, for instance, I did the Tampa Bay Toronto preview and I thought, you know what, that's going to do really well. I will leave that one up as the only preview I'm doing today. I'll watch parts of the games later and I'm going to the Abbotsford Canucks game tonight because I can. And then after that, the, 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 the reality is that uh, on the weekend there's no hockey games so I can do the power rankings tomorrow morning and then I can do 
the series previews for the rest of the series on Saturday and Sunday. Or I could do one later tonight that posts early tomorrow morning on the channel. Uh, there's seven other series I'm going to have to do. We'll know which all, all seven series by the time tonight's games are over. And in my experience... Uh, it is it is best to let them breathe a little bit. It's one thing that I, I do have to tell myself at times. Like, I will post a video, I'll get a board ready for another, and I'll say, okay, I can do this, but I have to make sure that video that I just posted has had some time. It's part of the reason why I've started to change what order I do videos in. Because I want to make sure the ones that don't normally perform well, that that's the last one that goes up, because then it has more time to breathe. Uh, I make sure there's enough time between the video before that and that one that everybody knows it's there. But uh, it's a tricky, tricky thing to figure out, but it's just me. And uh, 365 days a year, videos go up on my channels. Uh, this summer, I am leaning towards doing a lot more of the pre-recording and, and having more time to, you know, have a day off. And I want to give myself one day off a week. I think that's fine. I think that's reasonable. Uh, there would obviously be a complaint or two along the way. And, and when I say a day off, I mean just do like a news video in the morning and then do videos on the entertainment guy. Because I consider that like the entertainment guy has always been the channel that um, is there for my enjoyment. It is the channel where I do videos that are just basically me relaxing and having fun. They don't perform particularly well. They're not videos that... Like, for instance, last week's Flash video, I think it had 300 views the last time I looked. And I love doing the Flash recaps because, and, and it's genuine, the show drives me insane. But it's been driving me insane for so long. When I'm seeing memories on Facebook from seven years ago where I'm complaining about the Flash, I'm thinking, you know, this has kind of been a thing I've been doing since before I had a channel on the internet. So now at least I can share my frustration with people. And if anybody's asking, why do you still watch it? I don't know. But yeah, uh, it is in its last season, so I might as well finish it out. Just finish it out. And, and then that should be it for me with television when it comes to frustrating shows. Because the CW has stopped producing anything uh, in BC. I was reading an article on that yesterday. That's too bad. That's definitely something I can do a video about. Uh, there's a lot of movies that get shot around here, but most of those are of the Christmas variety. And those movies, I think, cost about $20 each, which it's easy because they all have the same script. You just change a couple of names, you change the name of the town, and then whatever their job is, change But everything else stays the same. Um, and it's, it's ridiculous, the formula that's there. Um, I've even pointed out uh, to, to my wife that Christmas movies are just romantic movies with Christmas trees. That's the exact same thing. They're, it's... I mean, there's minor differences, but they're all just very saccharine, very sweet. And can they find love? They're so different. It's the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Just they add Christmas trees. Or an evil Santa Claus. That's where that's where things are really interesting when Santa Claus does things. And you're like, well, that was kind of a prick move. But anyways, there you go. Uh, thank you guys for your time, for your attention. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, again, I will be doing more of these. I think it's part of the reason why I paired it back to my YouTube channel. Um, and I thought, do I want it on the main channel or the secondary? And I thought, nope, put it on the entertainment guy so you don't have to talk about hockey. Talk about whatever you want. And today I did it while I cleaned six boards. So that's six boards that are cleaned. I got a couple more to go. And I got to do my treadmill. I've been thinking about doing a video while I'm on the treadmill again. Um, I, I, I do because now the treadmill that I have, like it's a full-on run that I'm doing. It's not just the holding onto the handlebars like it was the first time I did one. Uh, this this treadmill's actually got a, a really nice size tread. The other one didn't. I was always afraid if I let go, I was going to fall off the back because it was so short. This one's got the length and the width, and I've asked my wife, and both of those are important. Uh, she told me when she could stop giggling when I asked her uh, what's more important, length or width. Anyways, uh, there you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for your time and for your attention. And uh, I will do this again soon enough. Thanks for your time.